Alrighty guys, it's Ame and welcome back to DevDreamer. So guys, in this lesson then, we're taking a look at the div tag. Now, div simply stands for division, and that's all the div tag is. It is simply a tag that helps us to separate our content. So let's take a look at this on the screen. So let's do a, uh, let's go for H3 and just say uh, this, so this is the red section. And then underneath this, let's just put some dummy text in. Okay, and let's just copy this. And down here, let's do another one, but let's call this the blue section. Okay, so on our screen then we have two different sections. We have a red section here, and then we have our blue section. Now we can use divs to actually wrap these sections up so that we can differentiate between them in our HTML document. So let's do that now. So here then, above the uh, HP title here, I'm just gonna do a div, which is a div. Okay, so we have an opening div tag and then a closing div tag. Let's take this closing div tag here and let's just cut it from here. Okay, and paste it down here. Okay, and then I'm just gonna indent this by selecting it all and hitting tab. And that's just for readability. And then here, let's do the same thing for our blue section. Okay, opening closing div tag. Let's take the closing div tag here it from there and put it down here and then again let's just indent this okay so then now we have our two sections and they are both wrapped in our div tags okay now if you look at the screen there's no visual representation here at the moment and that's because on their own the div tags don't really show anything where they really come in handy is when we start styling our page using css and also when we start using other attributes such as ids and classes which we're going to discuss in the next lesson for now let's just style our containers because that's essentially what this div creates. It creates a container to hold our sections. In here, let's just do some inline styling. So we'll just do style equals, and I'm just gonna say background, and we'll say red, okay? And as you can see now that this has been given a red background, and then let's just copy this, and come to our second div over here, and let's make this blue. Okay. Uh, of course, that looks awful, uh, but this is just to give you a, a visual representation of what the div tag can actually be used for. In the next lesson then, as I said guys, we're going to be taking a look at the ID attribute and the class attribute, and we'll tie it into these, uh, these div tags here, and we'll look at some examples to make sense of everything. But that's pretty much it when it comes to the div tag. It is simply a division to actually separate our content. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.